Hi, welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadgill, and here I have founder of Gracious Ground, Sandy Baker. Welcome, Sandy. Thank you for being on the show with us today. Thank you, Dennis. Can you tell us a little bit about Gracious Grounds and what it is? Gracious Grounds is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We provide housing opportunities for people with unique abilities. You would probably think of people with disabilities. Good. Um, so who are some of the different people that you serve, or what are some of the disabilities you know, it's the gamut. It truly is the gamut. It's um, people, my son, for example, with Down syndrome, people with cerebral palsy, um, autism, cognitive impairments that may not have a, a formal um, name to them. Um, age range is ageless. So we presently serve people as young as in their 20s to people who are 55 and older. Good. So when you talked about the gamut, um, I know a little bit about it, and it, it is a wide wide range of, of um folks. Tell me about the different housing styles that you have, because I know currently you at least have two different styles. That's correct. We have a large house in the center of Grand Haven, 7,200 square feet, where everybody has their own private bedroom with their own private bathroom tucked right inside, much like a hotel suite. Mm -hmm. um, a communal kitchen where they eat their breakfast and lunch, and we serve dinner family style. Um, and large areas just to s spread their elbows and, and enjoy time together or, or alone. The other property we have is a eight unit, one bedroom, one bath apartment building where we presently serve nine people with unique abilities. And each one of our properties runs with an RA, much like um, college dorm mm -hmm. back, back when maybe you were in college and I was. Um, an RA is there for safety and security, um, for caring, compassionate reminders throughout the day, and to assist with some problem solving skills when needed. Sure. And I know at least um, in kind of the combined dorm style, um, they do their own laundry, but they're taught that. And then don't they, they spend one night of week where they cook themselves? Um, everybody's expected to be able to do their own breakfast and lunch uh -huh. at the large home that you're referring to. It's a joint effort between the residents and the RA to put the dinner meal on the table. Sure. And then at the apartment building, all three meals are, are done um, by each resident alone, or they um, have done um, many dinner parties together to okay. make that work for themselves. Yeah. So I know how vital this is for, for the people that live there, yes. but it's not just for them, it's for their parents as well. Tell me a little bit about that and then how, how important it is for our community, community to have this services. You know, I believe um, the statistic on an average dentist is that people who have um, parents that have uh, loved ones with a unique ability uh, parent 16 more years longer than the average parent would, would parent their um, their uh, son or daughter without a unique ability. So this is an opportunity for mom and dad for the first time in their lives too, maybe to live their life differently mm -hmm. as their young adult is living their life differently at Gracious Grounds. Um, so we're pro providing opportunities for families. Sure. For families. It's not only like what's happening now in their lives that they that you're providing this, but it's for when they're not with us anymore. That's correct. And the student or the students, the you know, the folks the parents know that they're still going to be taken care of. Tell me a little bit about that and you know, um, Gracious Grounds provides an opportunity for people to live as long as they possibly can in, in the um, properties that we have. Um, I'm not saying that the future for these young people wouldn't possibly be moving into an assisted living later on in their lives, but just like um, maybe your, your parents and my parents age, they want to age in their home. So Gracious Grounds provides the opportunity for, for residents to stay as long as they possibly can. Good. Yeah. And tell me about is there a story that you can share with me that these, you know, these people, they wanted to go to college or this is like their college, going out and living on their own, had it not been for gracious grounds and maybe they would not have had that experience of moving out of their, their parents' house? Quite possibly. Um, you know, there are 15 people presently being served by gracious grounds and they're living their lives um, fully, fully. They're for the first time um, maybe employed. All 15 of our residents have paid employment in our community. You spoke of how did the community um, um, wrap their arms around us, and they truly have by employing our, um, our residents with paid employment. Um, you know, if you had a resident sitting here right now, they would say the best part about living at Gracious Grounds would be the fact that mom and dad aren't <laughs> around all the time. Uh -huh. um, and, they're, and they're learning to make decisions on their own. Um, which is extremely powerful 
um, and they're developing independent living skills that quite possibly they would not have learned how to do if they stayed at home. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the future plans of Gracious Grounds. Where do you see you guys going? Right. It's an unmet need in many communities. So the potential for Gracious Grounds to move out of the Grand Haven area into other communities is something that we we're looking forward to doing eventually. We now have other communities coming to Gracious Grounds and mm -hmm. asking us how we put the model together. Um, we have a, uh, our next property will be ready in approximately six months or so. Um, that's an apartment building. Uh, on the 14 acres behind D&W in Grand Haven, where Chad Bush is the developer and it asked, has asked Gracious Grounds to come into his development and absorb a complete wow. building um, within the six buildings he's putting up. That'll have a beautiful clubhouse with an outdoor pool, hot tub, workout room, and community space. And then our fourth property is a piece of property in Ferrysburg that we presently own, and that's 8.2 acres on the property that the city um, of Ferrysburg is also on. Okay. So we're looking forward to putting something up in the future on that piece of property. Good. And just tell me a little bit about the connection between Gracious Grounds and the community and how important it is for uh, these, uh, these people to get out there in the community and have productive lives. It's my opinion, Dennis, that these young people, these people that we serve, make us, you and I and everybody in this community, better people. Mm -hmm. They just make us better people. Always smiling. They're always happy. I, I've seen them in school, you know, and I've videotaped them for years, and yeah. I get hugs or, hey, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Just, yeah, it just puts a smile on your face, too. Like, it yeah, when it they, does. It makes your yeah, day a better they, day. Yes, for sure. It makes you feel more valued, mm -hmm. and in return, they feel the same as well. So Perfect. I think it's a win-win. Yeah. yeah, great. Well, thanks for being on the show. We're about out of time, so thanks for uh, telling us a little bit about Gracious Grounds. One more question. How can people get involved, whether it's volunteering, monetarily, support, anyway? Correct. All of those are needed. Um, mm -hmm. Volunteers are needed. Um, monetary support is needed as well. Contacting me, um, Sandy at GraciousGrounds.org, or um, my phone number on the website mm -hmm. would be the best way. Come for a tour. Come for a tour and see what we have to offer. Perfect. I've been there and I love it. So, Thank you. Yeah, great job. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Thank you.